I started with my own birds in a small loft in 1995. It was a loft by two by two only. I lived with my mother. It was for me also easy to get into the sport. In a short period, good pigeons also because we were related to several guys who flew on a high level. Uh, the most famous name was of course the Huben family. My grandmother was related to the wife of Jeff Huben. When I was I think around 12 years, I was going often to them. Uh, helping at their place if uh, necessary and possible of course for me. Cleaning lofts, just talk with, with all the, the famous guys over there. The most important thing I did was listening. And that made me I think stronger in the long run because when I was a young guy I had a chance to learn a lot of things of all those top flyers. Twenty oh four. Queen Elle, our basic hen, she won first national on La Souterraine, was about 600 kilometers. She was fastest against 19,000 pigeons, old birds and young birds together. We had a chance to sell her, but uh, we decided not to sell her. I think we won lottery with not selling this pigeon because she was a, a game changer for us. Her background, the father is a line bred of my grandfather, his old stuff. And then we got the opportunity to join breeding with the Huben family. I remember I got a phone call from Jeff Huben and he told me to come over to his place with our hen, Queen Elle. And I came at his place, he told me, Ella, go upstairs and, and take Pinocchio out of his box. And I went upstairs at the old loft. I took Pinocchio, I came down and uh, Jeff went with me to another loft and he told me sit down. He took a nest ball, he put the nest ball into a box, he took Queen Elle he put her in that box and he took Pinocchio and he paired them up and all of a sudden I was asking what are you doing now and he told me son now you're gonna be a pigeon flyer all of a sudden a lot of things changed for us in just yeah, a few minutes and we got four babies out of that mating and he got four babies out of that mating and three out of the four babies I got they bred me birds in the top 10 national and top 100 and they are still in the basic of the birds we have today in 2019 if I look back and we see birds of the last several years that were doing good like Oklahoma, Seven Goose, Illinois, birds that were good in national ace bird rankings, putting themselves in the top 10 on national races, always Quinell was somewhere in the background. What I did the last few years was more lime breeding to her also. I outgrow those lime bred birds and that was giving me also a lot of success till the day of today. The most special bird that we had out of a, a lime bred with an outcross was two years ago in 2017 and that was our first national ace pigeon KBDB on those national races for young birds. That was something I tried to achieve already for almost 10 years, to win National Bush and to win that National Ace Pigeon. And I was so lucky to do it in one year. That National Ace Pigeon was the most special thing. We named her, because of that, we named her a new Queen Elle. She has the same color, same color of eye. She's almost a lookalike like uh, Queen Elle. That's why we named her new Queen Elle. The same year we had out of a lime bread with another outcross also Goose and he was our national winner from uh, Bourges. He was fastest against almost 60,000 birds and that was also an, an amazing feeling when that pigeon came home. Uh, the first guy that I called to tell that I won was one of my best friends and a guy who teached me also a lot and that was Tony Malucci from USA. The man he passed away a few weeks ago and it was also uh, a big loss we had. But yeah that's life we have to go forward and it is what it is but those moments you will never forget in your lifetime because those were special and they were always connected to some people and the most special thing also was that day when we won national it was the birthday of Jeff Huben and it was also something that we will never forget. And that's what pigeon sport is all about. I think it brings people together and, and I think it's important you enjoy the good things and the sport and be a good winner and a good loser. Try to keep it simple for yourself. <laughs>